that. But it becomes infinitely more irresponsible when you find out that just last week, he uploaded a video saying he caught the Rona. Now, I go into any Pretty Boy Fredo video, I don't watch him, but I'll be linked them. I'll go into it knowing it's fake. He would have to prove to me it's real at this point. We've seen too much evidence. So we got some drama between Agent Zero and Pretty Boy Fredo. Agent went on a record the other day saying that Pretty Boy Fredo is a fake and everything he does and everything he represent is just toxic and just horrible. Now this comes after Pretty Boy Fredo hosted an event in New York. It was a Pretty Boy Fredo takeover. They did a 5v5 basketball tournament and everybody in the 2k community and just people in general was giving fredo a whole lot of flack for having a massive event in new york city which could have possibly increased someone's chances of catching the rona and so a lot of people took to twitter and came at pretty boy fredo and not only did agent zero come at fredo other people in the community did too check this out he posted that video to Twitter, every, every imaginable content creator had some opinions about it. LD2K responded saying, irresponsible, bringing together large groups of kids will inevitably spread to their families and essential workers. You're supposed to be a role model. Hope this is worth it while my sister is on the front lines dealing with Rona patients in hospitals. Fuck this. Joe Knows tweeted, dignity greater than clout. Mopey tweeted, great example why Twitter is so toxic. Person with heavy influence on the youth using it for faking Rona. Phone call proof means nothing, and getting large groups of people together irresponsible slash dangerous for no reason. Block me, piece of shit. And that I seen on Twitter came from Cole the Man. He put out a tweet saying, Pretty Boy Fredo is a joke. And he got blocked for it, which is the next problem I'd like to talk about. As you can see, Agent and many others really was upset at Pretty Boy Fredo for hosting this event. And on top of that, Agent even showed us a video of how Pretty Boy Fredo be faking in his videos and how you shouldn't believe everything he does. And most importantly, how he's just not a good human being. Check this out. If you're a fan of the Pretty Boy Fredo, uh, you might have seen this video titled My One Million Sneaker Collection Full Closet Tour. Do you need me to say it? And I would like to personally welcome you guys to my closet. He went to a store, claimed it was his closet, and showed off a whole bunch of things at a store. Character on Twitter by the name of Kias Omar, uh, wow, he has a million subscribers. Hmm, I'll check him out. He posted this tweet saying, I have a question for y'all. Is it okay to pretend a sneaker collection is yours for YouTube? just for content i get it it's for entertainment but truth is this is not his sneaker collection this is a private store in florida i was there two months ago he followed up i'm done no more back and forth i said what i needed to say fredo please stop capping about sneakers some of us do this for a living some of us love and live this sneaker life no hate no clout chasing blessings to you and your fam and he showed a photo here of the actual private store that fredo was claiming was his collection how many times we got to see examples of him just capping out his ass? Like he's not, this, this is not a good person we're talking about here. So Asian attacked pretty boy Fredo's credibility and really just called him out and said he's not a good person. He's toxic and this is not a person you should be following if you really believe in positivity and uplifting people. Now, in my opinion, I can't tell you what a man is and what a man's not. At the end of the day, we have a choice to make. And if you really rock with Pretty Boy Fredo, then that is your choice. I can't tell a man or a child or anybody who should they follow and who they should believe in as well. As we know, YouTube is not all the way real. This is an entertainment platform and a lot of people are going to create content for views because it's a part of the entertainment it's a part of youtube so if a youtuber want to make fake videos for views that's on him or her but at the end of the day you still choosing to watch it so you can't be mad at them if you always tuning in to watch their next video that's not their fault that's on you and even with agent zero making this video this video is going to get a lot of views because it's going to create a lot of controversy which also pertains to the entertainment and drama that people love so is agent right for doing this 
I don't know. But Pretty Boy Fredo took to YouTube and he had this to say about all the people who was coming at him crazy for his event. Check this out. First and foremost, yesterday was absolutely crazy. NYC, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. But I do first and foremost want to apologize. I want to apologize for putting so many kids in possible danger of COVID-19. And it sucks that I have a lot of people like they're so clout chasing like these these clout chasers. They just, oh, you fake COVID-19. You fake COVID-19. I literally played the clip of the lady telling me for the first time that I tested positive for COVID-19, but still Still, some people feel like it's, it's okay to do that because you know they'll get the extra likes, they'll get the extra views, they'll get the extra clicks, and it's cool, but it's also not cool to lie on people's character. Yo, and also, I'm gonna show a screenshot right here of my actual lab, lab result. As you can see, Pretty Boy Fredo did apologize for having this event and possibly endangering the people that came to the event, increasing their chances of catching the virus. He even went to bat to protect his name and his credibility by even showing us the results of his lab results from testing positive with the virus. Now, if that's not true, if that's not real, I don't know what it is. But at the end of the day, that's not my place. Now, do I agree with Pretty Boy Fredo having that event? No, I don't think he should have had that event. And he even said it in his video that it wasn't the right time. And he wanted to show love to NYC because NYC has been showing love to him. Even though we don't know the real intent behind the video, it could have been good intentions. It could have been bad. It could have just been just for the views. We don't know, but at the end of the day, you have a choice. You can choose to watch Pretty Boy Fredo's content, or you can choose not to watch Pretty Boy Fredo's content. You can be upset about the things he do, or you can choose not to be upset about the things he do. You are entitled to your own opinion and to your own perspective on what Pretty Boy Fredo does, but at the end of the day, the man can do what he wants to do, and that's up for him to learn. He's still a young man. He's still growing. He is trying to to be the best version of him i'm not defending him i'm not saying i'm on his side i'm not saying i agree with agent double zero video but all i'm saying is that we're so quick to come at somebody when we don't agree about what they're doing and how they're going about doing it. and we're so quick to uplift somebody when it lines up with our point of views and our values and our beliefs at the end of the day he's his own man and if he wanted to do an event with thousands of people those people didn't have to show up. Those people could have stayed home, but they made that choice. So you can't put the blame all on pretty boy Fredo because those people chose to go to that event instead of staying home and being safe. So it's not all on pretty boy Fredo because those thousands of kids and adults that showed up to that event and the playing that 5v5, that's on them too. But y'all let me know in the comments below what are y'all thoughts about this whole Agent Zero and Pretty Boy Fredo's issues or beef, I should say? Do you agree with Agent? Do you agree with Pretty Boy Fredo? I would love to know in the comments below. And for the latest and greatest news about NBA 2K and what's going on in the community, always keep it locked in with your boy, babe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications to be part of Cook Up Nation. Y'all remember to stay safe, stay blessed. Live life, stress less. Without the man upstairs, my life will be a mess. I love y'all so much. I'll holler at y'all soon. Peace.